Marissa wants to be on YouTube. You wanna say hi? Hi! <laughs> Can I say hi? Hey guys and welcome back to another week of weekly vlogs today. It's Monday and it is 8 o'clock, which is pretty good for us for Monday because I don't work till late on Monday so we always have lazy Mondays. But I need to go to a Hi. town an hour away. Hi. Because there's a beauty supply store over there. Uh, they they come to town, like they come to all the salons in town, but the store is having 15% off the entire store, even on sale price items, and I need to buy a hair straightener and a blow dryer and brushes and everything like that to go back to full service salon. I talked about it on the, my, my last weekly vlog about how I'm going to switch to full service. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going down there with Cass, and Cass's mom is actually going to watch the girls. Uh, so we can also go to, like, the mall quickly and do some Christmas shopping and whatever. And then I work later tonight, so I have to rush home and go to work. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say this is the first time I'm leaving Hannah alone without, like, without a daycare or a nurse or whatever. It, they're on the wrong feet now. I told you that they were right before. Go change them. Go change them. Uh, like... She's always needed nursing, and then like the daycares were like trained by like nursing support services. So this is the first time I'm just like leaving her like she's a normal kid when she's kind of still not a normal kid. But she doesn't really need anything. Like she doesn't need a feed during the day, so it's not like she needs extra support or anything. So it's like completely safe and fine. It's just like the first time. <laughs> Pretty excited. Are you excited to go to Drake's house? Let me try a little Come here. Are you excited to go to Drake's house? I need to do her hair still. That's the last thing I need to Mommy, do. Mommy, I want to sit up. You want to sit up? Yeah. Here. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. I've been saving my tips for this, <laughs> for my new kit. We're on our way to the gynecologist, and then I got to drop the girls off at preschool. And then, yeah, hopefully I organize my house and get some Christmas decorations up, and hopefully my haircut goes okay. Oh yeah, yesterday, once I got all the way down there, um, they said that it was only 15% off on everything they had in the store, and they had a special order most of the stuff, so I was like, seriously, like, you said, it even said, like, sale price items are 15% off, so they're gonna give me 15% off, but there's a chance that they can't order everything that I wanted, because it was, like, a special series of gold stuff, so that really sucks, but hopefully... I don't even know where we're going. Level one. I'm pushing it. I like it. Fancy office. I feel less crazy. Uh, my level stayed at 100 for three weeks in a row and then like they gained a little bit. And the doctor was equally as worried, but then last week they dropped down to like 60, I think. So I still have to go get blood work until it's at 10. But because it dropped, it's probably fine. But he was just as worried as I was looking at those levels. So I wasn't freaking out about nothing, which makes me feel good. But like, I'd rather just not be freaking out at all. And uh, he's still convincing me to get the marina. And when I talk to him, I'm like, okay, yeah, it sounds good. But then when I'm like reading things online and whatever, then I'm like, I don't think so. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think... I want to try it and then I just know that that doesn't work but I was looking at all birth controls yesterday and like the ones available in Canada I've tried all of them and they haven't worked for whatever the reasons there's so many different ones I can't I'm not gonna sit here for like 10 minutes and explain so I think I'm gonna give it a try but I don't know he makes me feel okay with it but I don't know you guys all had really bad things to say about the marina I don't know You guys have a grocery store that always seems to let you down. I really want to like this one. It's really close to the girls' like preschool, but every time I come here, they don't have fruit or like. The only thing I liked about them, the only reason I came today, is because they have this coffee mate creamer. That's the only grocery store in town. They don't even have the flavor that I like, and there's not even like a spot for it. So I came here for nothing, and yeah, I don't know. It just seems like they always let me down. Half an hour to chill before the girls go to preschool, so we bought a sandwich from that grocery store, and now we're just sitting at the beach. 
Watching not a lot of waves. Surprisingly, because it's windy, I'm gonna eat a sandwich. Kind of look up at me. There's too much snow up there. So I just got my hair cut and uh, I went to the salon that uh, I'm not gonna go into too much details because the next time I work in a salon, I'm definitely gonna make sure that you guys don't know where it is. Not, I don't know, yeah. And every, anyways, I pretty much, you guys already knew where I was. You could guess what salon I worked at because I don't do color. So there's not very many salons that don't do color. So I, uh, I walked past the salon like two weeks ago or whatever and it really caught my eye just from the looks of it and it has a really nice website and then yeah I don't know so I was just like well let's go check it out because I wanted to know if they like get a lot of like clientele if they're busy if they get a lot of young people or is it mostly old people and like I don't know like how the environment is because I want to work in like a positive salon and yeah it was really nice I tried not to say that I was a hairdresser I tried to just like ask questions but my hair is a hot mess right now because the ends are like orange like I want to go a little bit darker and then there's like these pieces that I'm going to turn blonde like in right here that are like really orange so I uh so I kind of gave it away because I was talking about how my hair I know my hair is a hot mess but she made me feel really good before I brought up that I was a hairdresser because I she was talking about like how they have somebody for advertising and stuff and then she went into details about that and like how she started off without any clientele and like talked about like how they helped and that she used to work at a salon before that the manager was actually getting her hair cut right next to me when I gave it away she's like well come see me and then she was like talking to me like just chatting about the chatting about like the product line and was like laughing about how if she was looking for a job she would do the same like just randomly go in and check out salons because like that's what you should do but uh yeah I'm still not ready I'm not going to start applying until the new year and there's a couple more salons that I just like want to go into and yeah it's just really nice to think about full service salons. I look like a hot mess I just woke up and started making phone calls uh I've been trying to sell my purple decorations on like a swap shop but I don't know, people are commenting but not really buying, so I'm just getting really annoyed. So I just phoned my manager, the complex manager of here. I live in low income housing and I was like, do you know any single moms? It has to be single moms because the decorations are purple that would need it. So they're gonna hopefully find a good home for these purple decorations. I'm really happy I went with traditional and I need to get rid of my mass amount of Christmas decorations I have because I have a lot of them and yeah. Away it is tree skirt because I hate silver <laughs> passionately. So I'm gonna give away the tree skirt that I've never used before. I got it like obviously on sale, probably 75% off. And then this is all the stuff I accumulated for purple. I got this huge thing of purple things. Another thing, there's some ribbon, some pit purple decorations, there's some silver uh, icicles, and just some more purple balls. I love just watching her on the camera. She was just like wiping her face, getting ready to fall asleep. We spent our day making this video. Well, not our full day, but. Hiding it from Elfie, I thought. Oh, I don't know what you did with it. I don't know where Dora is. The hospital. I had a day today where I just stayed in my pajamas all day because uh, the nursing, nursing uh, management people were supposed to come have like goodbye thing but then the highway got closed for a car accident so they never came because they're three hours away so then I just never got changed and I was supposed to get blood work today because my levels are still not low enough and I forgot I don't even know what I'm gonna be able to do that next maybe on Friday maybe after work on Friday but yeah very lazy day we got a video up very cute video up clean up a little bit I don't think I got any more decorations up but I got decorations up yesterday. Some of them, not all of them. Yeah, some of them. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. Oh yeah, and Hannah's formula changed today. That's pretty much about it. Her formula changed by increasing half a bottle because she hasn't really gained any weight since June, but she's still like in the perfect category, like good weight for her height. And she isn't showing signs of being hungry. She's just not growing. 
egg whites today. I am um, mixing up four regular eggs with like the egg yolk and stuff, and then I'm gonna like top this bowl up with egg whites. So then that way, there's only like five yolks in there, but like, I'll give it a little bit of taste. And I added like extra spices, like I added cayenne, uh, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And I'm gonna actually add some garlic into this mixture today. Evening, I'm peeling grapes, cutting apples, <laughs> making wraps. Best tip today, I got my red lips on that look extra red right now. And then I have my reindeer leggings on. I got the giveaway all wrapped, ready to ship. Pretty impressed with myself. It's going out the same month that the giveaway is. Days ago, when I said that, I was gonna give the decorations to the management. Management never came to pick them up. It was waiting outside for them to pick them up for like the last couple days. So I was like, screw it. I'm gonna post on the mom shop and swap and see if there's like another family that could be like suggested that they need it because I wanted it to be suggested not like have somebody said that they want them because I find that a lot of people think they need things when they really don't and I really wanted it to be like a family that actually needed it and didn't have them. So there was a couple of like people that were like commented like suggesting names in this one family. I'm not gonna go into details anyways said some story and then so I looked at her profile and I realized that she lives in the same complex as me because there's like a picture of like you can just tell like there's the same it's like the same everything like the same kind of handles and every all the places so that's who I ended up giving it to so it was still in the complex and I actually feel like it actually went to a family in need not somebody that just like decided they wanted it so yeah I feel good I'm just having a coffee it is 8 30 on Saturday and I'm thinking about decorating Christmas decorations because they need to be like redone, they're all like silver and I don't like them. And I wanna make them like sparkly or like spray paint them, which I can't spray paint them here, but I might just put some uh, Mod Podge and some glitter on some of them. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Redecorating the Christmas decorations was an epic fail. They're gonna have to be spray painted and like maybe tiny bit glittered, but yeah, fail. So now I'm watching Pretty Little Liars and I'm gonna paint my nails and- They're gonna come down on the parade, Haley. That's what we're walking to. Did you? Did you see Santa? It's coming. Marissa wants to be on YouTube. You want to say hi? Hi! <laughs> Can I say hi? I want to be on YouTube. I want to be with Bonnie on YouTube. Say hi. I want to be on YouTube. Santa Claus day. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.